Welcome to the second part of my three part series on performance and why your game is slow and how you can improve the performance of your game. And this time we talk about physics because last time we talked about rendering and now it's time for some physics. So I have my well known monkey head here. I add a rigid body to it and I add a mesh collider to it and set it to convex so Unity generates a very good mesh collider for us uh, for this head. So I have a spawner script. This spawner script spawns 15 times 15 times 15 heads and let's go. Let's see how it's doing. So and as you can see the performance is very low. We come to one or two frames per second and this is slow. So let's go to the profiler and see what's the uh, main cause for this. And I see directly 95% uh, of the complete computing time is reserved for the fixed up the date of the physics. And if I mark physics here, I see, okay, it would be about 60 FPS if we turn off physics, but we can't. So what you really should consider here is do you really need such a sophisticated model for the collider or is it enough to use some primitives? So we remove this component and add two other colliders like a sphere collider and a box collider. So and the next step is just to adjust these colliders to the monkey head um, so that it's fitting very good. And here it is, my self-made collider made of a Theo and a box collider and I think it's pretty decent and most of the time this is enough to have a pretty realistic physic. Let's start and see how our model is doing. So we have 30 FPS, 9 FPS, 4 FPS. It's it's not that much slower, it's about twice as fast, but uh, it could make a difference if you were at uh, 30 FPS and you need to go to 60 FPS. And as you can see in the profiler, it's still 92% uh, of the CPU usage is reserved for the fixed update of the physics, which is pre pretty much still, but you can improve the performance by using these techniques.